I'm Beverly Ammer. I'm Principal Lecturer in the W.A. Frankie College of Business, and I coordinate CIS 120, which is an Introduction to Computer Information Systems course. CIS 120 is a liberal studies course, so uh, in any given year we may have about 1,500 students taking the course. Uh, many of them are business majors, but there are a lot of majors all across campus that take the class. When we first committed to doing our flipped model, we had some discussions with the dean's office about what this would mean to the college, not just financial, but in terms of operations. We were going to be requiring an entire computer lab that be dedicated to us. Our class sizes were going to be increasing, and so that meant we'd be moving our classes into the largest rooms in our building that other faculty had ownership of that they now could no longer use. They had to move. Um, and so it created sort of this ripple effect throughout the college and touched a lot of different areas that I don't think we necessarily thought of at the very outset. Not that that should be your first consideration, but it's definitely important to think about what's the impact on the rest of the academic unit when it comes to these kinds of things. With our course redesign, we have over 65 small stakes and medium stakes assignments throughout the semester. It averages out to about four a week for students. One of the best practices uh, that we've learned about has to do with early and often and scaffolding and so on to build towards success. So with our gradebook being so massive, it can be a bit intimidating to faculty thinking, I'm keeping track of 65 data points per student. That's a lot of record keeping. The good news is we've got a lot of automated tools such as Blackboard Learn uh, quizzing and exam features for assessments that automatically port in there. We have software that does auto grading of assignments all we have to do is download an Excel spreadsheet and enter the grades from there. So the grading burden on us isn't nearly as great as it might seem when you look at how large and complex our, our gradebook is. One of the benefits we see from blended learning is helping students understand their role and responsibilities in the learning process. We're not hand-holding. We're not mom and dad. We're not constantly there nudging them. We have a lot of discussions about time management. Here's what needs to be done. You need to figure out how to get that work done today for next week. I had one student say to me, she learned in my class that do Monday does not mean to do it Monday. That was a learning moment right there. <laughs> we have not seen any faculty failures. Uh, we've seen people struggling with readjusting how they do things. But the faculty, once they've been through it the first semester of that steep learning curve, have come back and said, you know, I kind of like how lively my classroom is. My students are talking to me. They're talking to each other. And it's about the material that we're going over in class. It's kind of fun. And I felt I could declare victory at that point because my faculty found that they were actually engaging their students in learning the material and were having a good time doing it. In order for faculty to take risks, uh, there, there does need to be a fundamental re-examination of the incentive structures at the university level. Um, pay isn't the only thing that motivates people. Um, there is the reward of the job well done, the recognition piece, uh, but also a safety net. What if I fail? What if it doesn't go like we planned despite our best efforts? So during the evaluation process, having a pass, so to speak. Um, that can help. You know, okay, well, if it doesn't completely work, at least I now know that and I can change things going forward. Um, that might help with some of the risk. Or having a reduced load so that you've got development time or a summer grant to do the development, that it's not uh, part of your expectation on load to redesign and fundamentally rethink things while you're doing your normal job duties. Um, you know, there, there has to be a recognition that this is a significant effort that the faculty member is going to undertake, and if we're going to do it right, we have to make sure that the faculty member is supported. Um, once you start thinking about your course as a blended or flipped model, um, talk to e-learning and say, here's what I'm thinking. And then they can bring to bear experiences that other faculty have had, put you in touch with others, provide you with some best practices to really help you focus on what would work best for your students. For faculty that are considering 
blended and flipped, um, you really need to just give it a chance. Uh, don't be afraid to try something new. Uh, I think you'll find that the rewards are tremendous. When I ask my students, what do you think? Uh, each one tells me, I really like this. I like being in charge of when I do my work or not having to come in and sit and listen while you tell me something that I've already read or I already know. So I'm getting feedback that's telling me uh, we're on the right path here. I think that, that uh, we've got a good thing going. Thank you.